What's up, everybody? Yo, I was on Facebook, we was on Facebook talking, and I was saying how jail, how the prison system is a rip off. And I was talking about uh, JPEG, because JPEG they got these tablets in jail, now they got tablets where you can buy music. But, you know, the average job, the average job in jail only pay like $5 a week. Something like $5 a week or some shit like that, I think it was. And um, you get paid every two weeks. But the music on the tablet is $1.99. The average song on the So how's a person gonna afford to buy music on the tablet if you don't have a real job? You gotta get the money sent there from your family, or you get the you get the money sent there from your family. But it's usually it's usually if you had a hustle in the street or a job in the streets. And and the and the thing about when you buy all the music is that say if you was in if you was locked for like ten years, five years. All that music that you bought over the years, you take it with you, but you gotta pay like forty something dollars for the zip drive, for the disc drive to take the music. And like I said, the average song is a dollar ninety nine. You got movies on there that you can buy, and you got games you can play. But you gotta buy the games. They got like video games. You gotta buy the video games. So where's all this money come from? The prison system is a rip off, man. That shit is a rip off. The highest paying job in prison, if I'm not mistaken, is the recycling job. That's when you recycle the garbage. You throw away the, what, the recyclable plastic and the recyclable cans. Because you know a lot of people get packages in cans. You know, you got canned fish, uh, canned hot dogs and stuff like that, canned chicken. So, and you know that the, the cans were sharp, so you got to be careful with, with the cans after you open them. So that's like the highest paying job, working with the cans. Um, even the barbershop, the barbershop is a bullshit job, but like... If you're a good barber and you got a rep down at the at the at the at the, at the, um, at the barber shop, you know inmates usually bring like uh, um, they they bring um what they bring they bring you some cigarettes they bring a brick a brick is a pack of cigarettes they bring you a brick but I've really seen guys get paid with a brick but they bring you a brick or they bring you uh, the other kind of cigarettes that look like cigars they, or tobacco they bring tobacco tobacco I think a pouch yeah they call it a pouch. A pouch is usually like three dollars and change, and a brick, a pack of cigarettes is like, I think that's ten dollars. Like I said, I rarely seen guys get paid in bricks, and they have some really good barbers down there. And that's how they pay you. Well, you know, like they bring you a pack of pack of fish or something like that, you know, of something. But you don't have to. But if you want a good haircut, then you're gonna bring something, you know, and you're gonna try to go to the, your barber of choice. If it's a good, you know, and the CEO sit down there, he watch you. So if it's a good CEO down there at the barber shop. He might let you wait. Other than that, he be like, get the fuck out of here. And they say it just like that. Get the fuck out of here. You go to, you go to the available barber, you go to the barber that's available, or you get the fuck out of here. That's how they be talking to you. Get the fuck out of here. That's how they talk. And that's how it is. But like I was saying, that's the that's the best paying job in jail. It should be, be the, uh, the recycler. But if you're a good barber, you can make pretty good money. You bought it, really. They call it paying for it, but it's more like you bought it. You bought it and you get paid. And, it's just, and then, but like I was saying, back to the J patient, the shit is a ripoff. The prison system is a ripoff. Black people have been socially engineered to live on top of each other. And most black people in America live in the inner cities of America, like New York City, Atlanta, Georgia, you know, Charleston, South Carolina. Vast, vast, wide open. Nothing in New York State but a bunch of jet farmland and prisons. And that's how the white people up there make most of their living. You know, because that's like the biggest economy up there is a prison. You got all them jails in New York City, I mean New York State, and they named after Indians. You got Kasaki, Mohawk, Auburn, stuff like that. You got all them prisons and you got jails in Rochester, jails in Albany, jails in Malone. Way upstate New York, close to Canada. And that's how the white people make a living. Open jail, just like the best job you can get is working out of jail. Fucking up black people and going home at the end of the day. And like I said, when you get packages, if you get the wrong color or something, they might they dub it. They're going to dub it. If you got blue in it, they're going to send it back. If you got orange, they're going to send it back. And if you got gray. And um, usually you got three choices. You can donate it to a church. You can send it back. Or you can throw it away. 
but the seals are slick. They be moving so fast. They're like, what you want to do? Throw it away? <clears throat> if you send it back, you got to pay to send it back. And if you throw it away, it's going to go to a church. And more than like, I think the seals do good. I, and it, I can't say prove it, but I, you know, why not? And it'd be tons of food coming up there, tons of food that you can't have. You know, because it has to say, if it says keep frozen, you can't have it. If it says keep refrigerated, you can have it. But if it says keep frozen, you can't have it. So if you get stuff to say keep frozen, they're going to throw it away, or they're going to keep it. I guess they, they're not supposed to keep it. They're supposed to throw it away like they said they do. But, you know, I'd be able to check shit. You know, you got all that chicken, all them sausages, all that salami, all that shit that be looking good, and the bread has to be the food has to be packaged a certain way. It's not packaged a certain way, you can throw it away. And it's just, I don't know how it goes, but if you send a package to the jail, they get it right away. But if you see send a package to the mail room, they have to go pick the package up. But they gotta go pick it up. If they take all that shit and pick it up and throw it all in the truck. So 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 if you get a box it might say damage, they might send the shit back because it says damage. Because if it looks like it's been opened. Or tampered with, they can send it back. They say somebody might be trying to um, uh, put contraband in it. It's just a, it's just a fucked up game, boy. You go, like I told them young guys up there, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose, you cannot win. So you might as well abide by the rules, but you can't win. You cannot win, it's just a fucked up system, like I said, boy. Especially with them tablets. 